what is up guys welcome back to another video so for the longest time when i used to use mac os or from my hackintosh i'd have an application called istat now istat was amazing it had everything i wanted to know about my system my core usage my net usage everything and here is the really really cool part astra is basically that but for linux yeah it's uh it's honestly really cool now installing this is as simple as going to well not photoshop of course but the head into where is it where is it here your extension manager extension manager is used for installing all sorts of extensions from within here now if you don't know how to install it and you want an easy way to do so well i'm going to do that for you right now or we get right into it so you could do yay extension manager and in the process you'll see that number seven i currently have installed is right there so you hit seven and you install it using the yay another way you can do it is be clear you could do flat pack install extension manager and in doing so it will let you know that it found a reference to such a thing and you do need the capital e and you do need the capital m or else it won't be recognized now you can go and install this as a flat pack okay all right so we have it installed i wanted to mess with it and now all you need to do is type astra and it will be right there now who the hell is this oh wow there's another weird thing but this is right here and all you have to do is hit install and once you do it's going to pop up here and let's go over the settings as you can see it says my cpu type it says everything that my cpu is able to do it's all of its vulnerabilities and everything else wow including like look at that it even says mitigations are applied here i mean that's really awesome and if we go to total percentage of cpu usage user idle and so on no system we head down here it shows your cpu graph so it shows what all cores are doing this is what all 24 threads are doing they're barely being utilized it shows you your top processes so take this with a grain of salt like everything else, you need to understand that this is more accurate than this. Okay. Now, for all we know, it might be taking 65% of a single core or barely anything at all. But yeah, same thing would happen on iStat menu where it would show a program is at 150% when other programs at 300%. And I'm just like, why are you so inaccurate? But this is pretty cool. Now, it also shows my GPU and it shows who made my gpu it shows my vendor id subsystem id it shows the modules that are loaded and so on and so forth which is really nice and if we head into ram once again it shows your total and it goes through multiple graphs it shows which programs are using what so photoshop's using about 4.48 gigs of ram crazy it shows your swap and you can customize it and it also shows your storage. By clicking storage, it had to go and seek some information. So we just had a uh, encoding overload, but yeah, that's pretty nuts. Now it also shows your network information. All right, I'm not clicking that one. What we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be heading into Astra and we're gonna be checking out all the settings because there is a ton. So you got a default profile you can set different profiles, uh, you can set themes, uh, top bar, whatever you need to, panel box, position right. If we want it to, we could put this in the center. Honestly, it looks pretty good in the center. I'm not even going to allude to that. That looks really good. Why do people say they're not going to lie about something? Like, why would you lie about that in the first place? It makes no sense. The minute I hear that, I think the people are untrustworthy because they say that they were not going to lie. But does that mean that in another possible scenario in universe, they were going to lie about that thing for some reason, even though they had no reason to do so whatsoever? Think about that. It really does not make no sense. And then there's compact mode, which basically just shoves everything in a tiny little bubble. I don't recommend that at all. You could also click and hover or just hover to activate it. It's up to you and uh start expand it you know processor is first you can change the orientation of everything and if we head in here uh the update frequency again the headers real-time bars the tool tips the menus all of it 
Like, I would love if it showed uh, GPU temperatures. Are we able to do that? Main GPU. You're able to select your main GPU and it crashed. It is what it is. Extensions like, you know, KDE uh, widgets are not fully stable at all. They do crash sometimes. It just depends on certain variables. So let's try this again. General. What is this? Show GPU info. Continuous GPU monitor. This may perfect performance. Yes, this is true. Do not click this button because it will perfect. It will uh, affect performance. Okay. And again, there's other sensors I believe that you could probably add. Celsius sensors right there. There's your Wi-Fi, GPU temperatures. There's all of your voltage inputs. There's everything. Like, this is just nuts with the amount of sensors that I could probably show you. Wow. We're going to go with LM sensors on this one. Those sensors found on LM. Hardware monitor. Hardware monitor is the one that shows everything. Okay. Uh, you could probably see by now that this is one crazy utility. And I will leave their GitHub in the description below in case you guys need something that needs to be added to this. Or if you need to ask questions about how to customize it, if you just don't want to sit there and just learn it, I suggest always sitting there and learning something before you go ask questions, because at least you tried and you don't come across rude developers that are like, did you try this? No. Did you do this? No. I hate those type of people. So instead of angering the developers, always just take time and patience to learn the new applications. This thing's pretty damn cool. I wouldn't mind it if I uh, I did another video on customizing it farther. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this is useful to somebody. If it is, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video. And uh, if you use it, let me know your experiences with it. And have a happy Saturday, even though it says I'm recording on Friday. But, you know, I got to do videos ahead of time, right? You guys matter. And I want to just get some content across to you. Chad PS4 has had some major updates throughout this whole week so i'm gonna see if any more games boot and if they do you'll see a video on that this weekend as well as an extra bye everybody